Hi, I'm Tim Carter, AskTheBuilder.com. I'm going to show you in this video what happens when you flush flushable wipes, toilet paper, paper towels, and some other things down a standard toilet just as you might have in your own home. I want you to see what condition they're in just before they enter your septic tank or your city sewer connection. This video will also show how well modern low flush toilets perform when only allowed to use 1.6 gallons of water per flush. It's important for you to realize that I've been a master plumber since age 29, so I know how to plumb a toilet for a realistic test like this. In the spring of 2019, I wrote a column about flushable wipes that was published by nearly 60 newspapers across the USA. A link to this column is in the description of this video. The Responsible Flushing Alliance, an organization that represents the manufacturers of flushable wipes, didn't like my column. Their public relations firm sent me a letter asking me to retract my column. After reading their letter, I told them that I was going to record this video and ask for their input to ensure the testing methodology in this video met their standards. They sent me a document outlining their testing procedures. I decided to use my pipe scaffolding to get a toilet up in the air about 10 feet. This is the normal height a toilet might be above the buried plumbing drain line in a basement floor. Millions of homes across the USA have basements and even second stories where a toilet would be 20 feet above the horizontal building drain under a basement floor. I've piped the toilet using 3 inch PVC pipe just as you would in a home. The waste leaving the toilet travels through a short horizontal pipe that connects to a T-fitting. The waste then travels down the vertical stack until it hits a 90 degree fitting in the floor. The horizontal pipe in your basement, crawl space, or under your slab almost always has several 45 degree bends as it works its way out of the house headed towards the city sewer or your septic tank. I put in three 45 degree bends to simulate this change of direction. The horizontal drain pipe is a total of 70 feet long. This is very close to the specs in the Responsible Flushing Alliance specifications. The pipe has a 2% slope. That's just a fraction over one quarter of an inch of fall for every foot of run. Another key point is the pipe that I'm using in this test is brand new and it's completely smooth on the inside. The pipe that you have in your home that's been there for 10, 20, 30, or more years, guess what? It could be rough inside. It could have all types of deposits. It could have grease deposits. So this is going to be the optimal conditions under which to test. You may not get the same results in your home. I'm going to test three different flushable wipes I purchased at my local grocery store. I'm also going to test single ply toilet paper and a deluxe brand of toilet paper. I'm also going to flush some paper towels down the toilet as well as other things that you might think are pretty common, especially if you have little kids in your home. To make the test realistic, I'm going to flush down a simulated bowel movement made using soybean paste. This will be sized similar to a real one and weighs 9 ounces, the average amount as prescribed by the maximum performance labs in Canada. They do scientific testing for low flush toilet manufacturers. Let's start flushing. Okay, this is the Cottonelle flushable wipe. Let's see what happens. Okay, here's the Cottonelle. So it's still pretty much intact, but you can see it already started to fall apart. And, but there she is. Okay, this one is the Scott flushable wipe. This is the single sheet of Scott flushable wipe. Here we go. Okay, here's the Scott one. Very interesting. There's no debris in the water, so it really hasn't started to break down. It's really 
pretty much the same as I put it in the toilet. So that's the Scott one. Okay, this is one of the uh, dude wipes. It's pretty big. Let's see what happens. Okay, here's the dude wipe. Boy, there's nothing in the water. It doesn't look like it started to fall apart. It looks really pretty much just like it did when we flushed it. Look at that. Single ply toilet paper, really inexpensive. It is six different sheets and I folded it over twice. Here we go. You shouldn't have said, you shouldn't have said what you said. Okay, look at this. There's no need to even put my hand in it. I mean, you can just see the toilet paper, the single ply toilet paper completely fell apart. You know, it's... It's pretty much just kind of mush, so that's what happens with toilet paper. Okay, this is the better quality regular toilet paper. Six sheets, I folded it over twice. Here we go. Well, you can see for yourself, um, it didn't come apart as much as the cheap toilet paper. You know, here's a pretty big wad that's still left. It's kind of interesting. It kind of reminds me of that first flushable wipe that we put down there. So the expensive toilet paper really holds together pretty well. It's a high quality half sheet of a standard paper towel. Let's see what happens. Okay, look at that um, paper towel. Holy moly. It didn't come apart at all. The water's clear. Looks just like I did when I put it in the toilet. Sure don't want to put paper towels down your toilet. Look at that. Okay, I know it sounds crazy. Let's see what happens when you put some underwear down the toilet. You really, really shouldn't ever do this. Okay, here are some all-time favorites. Some plastic army men. It's going to be amazing. Because see those sharp rifles sticking out? That could get clogged up somewhere. How many do you put? What? Yes. How many did Here's some just Lego stuff, some assorted different toys, different shapes. Let's see what happens.
Okay, we're going to save the worst for last. You know, it's the simulated bow movement. I just cannot believe how big this is. It's going to be pretty gross. This is why plumbers get paid so much money, just so you know. That was pretty interesting, wasn't it? So you can see that two out of the three flushable wipes, they pretty much looked almost identical to when I put them in the toilet. The one flushable wipe, it started to fall apart. The paper towel, wow, uh, it performed the worst. I mean, it looked just like nothing happened to it. So you need to understand, remember, this was an ideal test meaning the piping was brand new. It's perfectly smooth inside, and that's not necessarily how it's going to work out at your home. Here's a quick tip. If you're going to use flushable wipes, please dispose of them in some type of container in your bathroom, just like you'd get rid of a baby's soiled diaper. If you must flush it down the toilet, if you just don't want to do that, I highly recommend you take an extra two or three gallons of water and dump that into the toilet bowl to make sure that it makes it all the way out to the city sewer. If you're on a septic system, I would not recommend at all. I don't care what the manufacturers say. I'm just telling you from a common sense perspective, you want to put the least amount of material in your septic tank. It's that simple. And I hope you like the Army men. I just want to let you know they survived. They've got strong lungs. I'm Tim Carter, AskTheBuilder.com. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to askthebuilder.com.